So you're ready to film that first video. Where do you start? What do you need? What do you think about? How do you get your points across? It can feel a little bit like. Don't worry, I got a couple of tips for you and we will talk about those right after this. Just hit record. So what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Ken, the content coach. And once again, in this video, we're gonna talk about you being prepared to film your first video. Now, where do you start? So in this video, I wanna kinda of give you five different things to think about when you're gonna film that first video. Things like, where do you film? What do you need? What should you wear? All that kind of stuff that may be running through your head right now. So let's go ahead and start right off with the first thing you should think about. And for me, this is the most important. Where are you going to film and what do you need? Now you can literally film anywhere that you want to. You can film outside or inside. There's things to think about with both. If you're gonna film outside, some of the most important things to think about is noise. Is there any traffic noise? Are there cars around? Is it a neighborhood or are there gonna be kids screaming? Also the weather, if it's gonna be dark outside, you know, if it's cloudy or whatever, how's your lighting gonna be? You wanna think about that. Now you can also film inside and I think inside is where you see most people film. There's no right or wrong here, either way that works. But inside, you wanna think about things like the room you're gonna be in. Where are you gonna sit? You can sit at a kitchen table, you can sit in an office, in the corner of an office in a chair, you can sit in an office like I'm doing here with you know, some kind of a background behind you. You don't have to have a perfect studio to start. You can stand or sit anywhere. Now, some things to think about indoors especially is sound. And when I say sound, I'm talking about your environment. You wanna make sure that there's some stuff sitting around. You're gonna want some soft stuff like pillows, you can even go as far as buying base traps and foam panels to hang up, which is what you see here. These do a good job of absorbing sound waves so you don't have as much echo feedback type things coming back. It's gonna help your sound sound better. You can literally just have, again, pillows, soft things around you, things in the room like you have behind me and things you don't see off camera. Do a good job of making your sound quality better by absorbing the extra sound so it doesn't bounce back into your microphone. Now, as far as equipment goes, what equipment should you think about? Now, I'm gonna give you the order that I believe you should consider when buying equipment for your channel. And we're talking first up lighting. I recommend lighting be your first priority. You wanna make sure that lighting is good. With good lighting, you can make almost any camera look great. Next up would be a microphone. And it doesn't have to be an expensive microphone. You can find microphones that connect to every type of camera, a regular DSLR or mirrorless camera an iPhone, your Samsung, anything, you can find microphones that hook up. And some microphones are as simple as something like this, which I just reviewed a couple of days ago. I will put that link at the top of the screen. Very inexpensive mics that are going to improve your sound. The difference in that and an onboard microphone can be huge. A lot of times onboard microphones are not as good on cameras, on iPhones, so you definitely want some good audio. The third thing that I would consider is your camera. Now, there are so many great options for cameras now, and you don't have to spend a bunch. You already have one in your hand. Outstanding cameras on the newer smartphones these days. You get great video quality. I've done a few with my iPhone, and I started my first channel with an iPhone 11. I filmed over 100 videos that way, so you don't need to focus on buying a good camera first. You already have one in your hand. Go ahead and get started with that. Okay, so the second thing that you'd wanna think about is your notes, outlining what you wanna talk about. So you have a topic, you already know what you want your video to be about. And I can just tell you from experience, for me, it's so easy to, you know, when I'm thinking about what I want the video to be about, I can sit and think, and I know a lot about content creation now, so a lot of times I can just, you know, start talking and rattle off. But when you actually sit down in front of the camera, sometimes you're gonna find that you your, your mind goes blank, you start thinking about what you wanna say. It can be tough being on the spot, looking at the camera like I'm doing now and remembering what you wanna say. So I recommend that you always make notes. Now your notes can be any way that you wanna do them. You can write your notes out. You can do a PowerPoint or a keynote type presentation that you can go back and watch. You can take notes and notes. A lot of times what I do is that I will just do my notes within the notes app on my iMac. And that is how I will get myself organized. What I would recommend for this is you definitely wanna make sure that you have an outline for your key points of your video. And then under your outline, throw in those, the points under that that you definitely wanna make sure that you wanna get across. Notes are gonna be sort of the biggest thing you can do to make sure that your video and the information you have comes across the right way. Okay, the third thing to think about is gonna be your appearance. Now in your videos, number one, if you just you know dress, comb your hair, your beard, you know wear your hat, whatever you're wearing, if you feel good about yourself and how you look and what you're wearing, you're gonna have a much easier time sitting in front of the camera 
and getting your stuff across. You're going to feel more confident. You're going to feel better about being on camera, thinking about the fact that this video is going to be publicly viewed by who knows how many people. You're going to feel much better and more confident about doing this. So you definitely want to make sure that you do take care of your appearance. Now, you don't have to get all fancied up and, you know, dressed up and put on makeup and all that good stuff, but do take some time to make sure that, you know, everything is that you look nice and everything is kind of in order. The other part of that is what are you going to be known for? Now, I've heard people say that I've become known as the guy with the beard and the backwards hat. That is pretty much by design. I've always kind of worn this. This is what I like to look like. This is who I am. And that's important also. Make sure that what you're doing, make sure that you are being yourself. If you are normally somebody that wears hoodies and sweatpants, don't try to be something you're not. Just make sure that what you are and who you are that you do take some time to spruce it up. Make sure you look nice on camera. It's gonna help you be more confident and it's gonna help your viewers be able to watch the video. Unfortunately, in our society, appearances matter. You definitely wanna make sure that you're thinking about this for your video. The fourth thing to think about is don't be afraid to make mistakes. It is tough to sit down in front of a camera and get used to sitting in a room by yourself, staring at a piece of plastic and glass, talking about things that you wanna put out on a video. It takes some getting used to. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be afraid to, you know, if you say us and stuttering and, you know, maybe forgetting a point and thinking about what you want to say, don't be afraid of those mistakes. There's two ways that you can handle those types of mistakes. Number one, and the most easiest and what I will do most of the time is just cut those out in editing. If you make mistakes, stop, regroup yourself for a second, make sure you're staring at the camera and start over on that point. Don't be afraid of those mistakes. They're easily cut out. The second thing you can do also, and I've seen people do this and absolutely love it, is that they'll either leave the mistakes in, they will just upload what they've filmed as long as it's not too bad. It actually adds some personality to the video. Or if, if there's a lot of mistakes and a lot to cut out, they'll put a blooper reel kind of at the end of the video. Those are fun to watch anyway. Your first video is not going to be perfect. And every time you do a video, you're going to get better and better and better and learn more about how to sit and talk. And you're going to get used to speaking. By all means, and most importantly, no matter what, make sure that you upload the video. Get started so that you can learn exactly who you are as a creator. You can learn how to handle these mistakes, how to speak to the camera. Don't be afraid of the mistakes. They're going to make you better. I just repeated that, but that was on purpose. You're going to become better for it. Just hit record. Don't worry about it. And the fifth and final thing to think about is... Just have fun with it, man. Content creation is so much fun. If you've chosen a niche and or a topic that you're passionate about, you are going to find such an easy time of sitting down once you've prepared, getting your points across, helping people with whatever your video is going to be doing. You are going to love it. Have fun with it. I mean, literally, content creation is one of the best things that I've ever gotten into. This is something that's fulfilling for me, for my family. I want you to find that also. Have fun with it. Don't force it. Choose something you're passionate about. Just have fun, man. Your passion will show in your videos. And the more that your passion shows, the more it shows that you're having fun and enjoying what you're doing, the better your video is going to be received by your audience, by your viewers. Your content's going to be much better off for it. So that is what I have in this video. If you think about these things when you do sit down and make that first video, I think that things will go well. And you're going to learn again from everyone. So sit down write your notes, get ready, hit record, and get your content out there. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you have any comments to add to my list, any tips for others, make sure you throw those down there also. If you have any questions, definitely throw those out there. I do all the time go through the comment sections of my videos, and a lot of times some great videos have been made from that. So if there's something you're curious about, want to ask a question, throw it down there. I will answer that. If there's anything else I can do for you, make sure you check out the website, kenthecontentcoach.com. You'll always find everything going on at the website. You will also find my contact information at the website. So if I can help you, the email, ken at kenthecontentcoach.com. I would love to help you in any way that I can. All of that being said, go have fun making content. Go make your first video. As always, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Just hit record, and we'll see you for the next one.